Psalm 151, and victory and vindication in this day of the Lord. Isaiah 61. Psalm 151. The angel of the presence of God, who is the person of the Spirit of the Holy God, and the angelic messenger of his words, as the word of the Lord, came to me and said, You are to write these words of the God of Israel. I have come to the earth to dwell with my anointed one, Kitel Smokari, as I once came to dwell among the tents of the Israelites, and who writes and speaks my words exactly as I speak them to him, as my servant Moses did. Kitel Smokari is the twig that sprouts from a shoot that grows out of the stump of Jesse, the lineal descendant of King David through King Solomon, prophesied by my servant Isaiah, a son of David, upon whom my spirit, that is the angel of my presence, alighted upon and entered in the first year of his life in 1957, and I was in my spirit, revealing myself to him in 2007. Keith Ellis McCarty is Elijah, prophesied by my servant, Malachi to return in the day of the Lord to clear the way before me to deliver the new covenant with my forgiveness of the sins of the Jewish people I declared in the book of Jeremiah and to recounsel the members of the families of the Jewish people each to the other being mindful of the teachings and laws I gave Moses that or bringing the Jewish families to or back to the observance of Judaism and righteousness and in right standing with me. Keith Ellis McCarty is the prophet like Moses, prophesied by me and written by my servant Moses, whom I speak to face to face and as one friend to another, that I converse with whenever I so wish, and who converses with me whenever he so wishes. And who writes my words exactly as I tell him to. Keith Ellis McCarty is my righteous servant, prophesied by my servant Isaiah, that makes the many righteous, the man of suffering, familiar with disease, that I chose to crush with disease, who made his soul and himself an offering for the guilt of the Jewish people in a test of devotion. The man who I have wounded, chastised, bruised, crushed, maltreated, and punished in the world and by my hand all of his life. The man that has been exposed to death four times by my power and survived by my power, the man I have given long life to in order that he accomplishes his many tasks, and the man who is my visible representation in the day of the Lord, speaking and writing my words. Keith Ellis McCarty is the only Gentile who I have written into the scroll of remembrance I am preparing for this day, the day of the Lord. For the heaven I am creating for the Jewish people. He passed my test of devotion. He agreed to go through my fire with a refiner to prepare him as a prophet suitable for my purposes. And for all the suffering he has endured in life for the Jewish people and myself. Keith Ellis McCarty is a host of the Lord's host, which means my Holy Spirit alighted upon him, entered him, and my presence is in my Holy Spirit. I control his every perception, decision, judgment, thought, physical action, mannerisms, and words in my power throughout the day and night. 
my presence and the presence of my Holy Spirit are always with him wherever he may be until the day at my discretion he dies. And Keith Ellis McCarty is a priest forever, a rightful king by my decree after the manner of Melchizedek and my son David. My hand shall be constantly with him, and my arm shall strengthen him. No enemy shall oppress him, and no vile man will afflict him. My faithfulness and steadfast love will and shall be with him. I am God. I created all things. I divided light and I divided water. I created and formed Keith Ellis McCarty for my purposes, just as I formed and created Israel for my purposes. And this is how scripture is written. The word of the Lord came to me and said, write this down. Isaiah 61. Victory and Vindication. Verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me as a herald of joy to the humble, to bind up the wounded of heart, to proclaim release to the captives, liberation to the imprisoned, to proclaim, this is verse 2, to proclaim a year of the Lord's favor and a day of vindication by our God. To comfort all who mourn. Regarding this phrase, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. That is a reference to Isaiah chapter 11 verses, uh, I think it's verse 2, but verses 1 and 2. It says that the Spirit of God alighting upon a man to perform tasks is an anointment by God. The speaker cannot be Jesus, though he said he was the fulfillment of it. This is from John... No, it's Luke. Luke the historian. Chapter 4, verses 16 through 21. And he taught, that would be Jesus, in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind to sit at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. Luke chapter 4 which, of course, is a direct reference to Isaiah 61, which is a, also a direct reference to chapter 11, verses 1 and 2. So this is Jesus claiming he is the man described in chapter 11, the descendant of King David, the twig that sprouts, the twig being in the Mashiach, that sprouts, that's a descendant that from the shoot, that's the descendant, that grows from the stump of